to flourish its dream of revolutionizing the industry, breaking the monopoly, and creating an alternative to the Boeing 737 MAX, China's Comac has developed a modern aircraft with the name C919. However, sales of this new Chinese aircraft remain low, with only domestic orders and missing international competition. Why no one buys China's aircraft? What does this plane mean for China? Let's find the truth in today's episode. The C919 is a product of the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, COMAC for short, a state-owned enterprise established in 2008 with the mission not only to reduce China's reliance on foreign aviation technology, but also to challenge the dominance of Boeing and Airbus in the aviation industry. The C919, a short to medium-range commercial aircraft, is designed to carry between 158 and 174 passengers and directly competes with the Boeing. 737. Max and Airbus A320. Neo. It is not to say that China is producing aircraft solely for the domestic market. Historically, and even today, China has always had ambitions to dominate and turn its key technologies into significant competitive factors against Western markets. According to you, why they haven't been sold yet to foreign markets. There could be several reasons for this, which we will analyze further. This aircraft stands out with a more spacious cabin compared to its competitors, a modern glass cockpit, and an advanced integrated air management system that includes air conditioning and cabin pressurization systems. Additionally, the air system functions on the aircraft are controlled through just two central controllers. With advanced technology and focused on fuel efficiency, this aircraft reflects China's significant ambition to enter the commercial aviation market. However, entering this market is a substantial challenge. New manufacturers must overcome numerous hurdles, from high development costs and stringent safety standards to building trust with airlines and passengers. Although the C919 boasts impressive capabilities and affordable pricing, no foreign airlines have shown interest in it. Firstly, it is not just a commercial aircraft. It is not only a commercial product, but also a symbol of national pride and technological progress for China. Developed by COMAC, this aircraft represents China's efforts to assert itself on the global stage, reduce dependence on Western aircraft manufacturers, and demonstrate technological self-reliance. This project has strategic significance, contributing to the economy and enhancing China's position in the international aviation industry. The launch of this aircraft is seen as an important milestone, showcasing the nation's growing ambition and capability in technological innovation and aviation development. The Chinese government considers the C919 crucial for the country's economic and geopolitical objectives, having provided significant support from the beginning by securing hundreds of orders and commitments, primarily from Chinese airlines such as China, Eastern Airlines, and Air China, as well as leasing companies like GCAS. The Boeing 737 MAX aims to strengthen Boeing's position in the narrow-body aircraft market, competing with the Airbus A320neo by offering better fuel efficiency, lower operating costs, and modern passenger comfort while meeting environmental standards. It's crucial for Boeing's competitiveness in this key market segment. The C919, beyond being a commercial product, serves as a national strategic tool for China, enhancing its global influence. With China poised to become the world's largest aviation market, its launch is significant as it could capture a major share of the single-aisle aircraft market. Thank you so much for following until this part. We appreciate your support. Help this content reach more aviation enthusiasts by like and share the video, and help us improve our channel by subscribe to us. Now, let's move on to the next part to explore the reason why no one buys this aircraft. Demand for single-aisle aircraft is increasing. But advancing this aircraft into the international market faces several obstacles that are puzzling to many aviation enthusiasts and those hopeful for its potential future. The reasons why no one wants to buy this Chinese aircraft are numerous and can be outlined as follows. The first obstacle Comac faces is the aircraft's performance. The aircraft has lower performance compared to the Boeing. 7 the 37 MAX and Airbus A320neo particularly in terms of range and fuel efficiency. With an operational range of about 3,000 nautical miles, the aircraft cannot compete with the two Western rivals on longer flights. Its fuel efficiency is also poorer, estimated to be 5% to 10% higher than the 737 MAX and A320neo, 
increasing operating costs. Despite being equipped with the modern systems, the C919 still relies heavily on foreign technology. Due to concerns about intellectual property security, many suppliers provide only outdated technology, preventing the aircraft from matching its competitors in terms of advanced technology. While it shows great potential and represents a significant milestone for China's aviation industry, it has not yet reached the performance and efficiency levels achieved by the MAX and A320neo after several generations of development. Secondly, its production is still heavily dependent on old technology and parts from Western. This reliance on foreign suppliers not only increases production costs, but also exposes COMAC to geopolitical risks. In an industry where supply chain reliability is crucial, this is a significant disadvantage. Although this company aspires to develop a fully made-in-China commercial aircraft, the current reality is that a large portion of the C919's components, about 91%, are supplied by foreign companies. Due to concerns about intellectual property security, many Western suppliers have restricted the provision of the latest technologies, forcing this company to use older technology for the aircraft. This affects the overall performance of the aircraft, making it difficult to compete with rivals like the Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A320neo, which use more advanced technologies. The third challenge that China faces is production capacity. Manufacturing a passenger aircraft is an extremely complex task. COMAX production rate, especially with the C919, is currently very slow. Since production began in 2011, this manufacturer has only completed around 10 C919 aircraft averaging less than one plane per year. This is very low compared to major manufacturers like Boeing and Airbus, who are producing more than one aircraft per day. Although China has plans to accelerate production, aiming to reach seven aircraft per year by 2024 and 150 aircraft per year by 2030, achieving this goal remains a significant challenge. The current slow production rate not only reduces the ability to meet market demand, but also affects this manufacturer's competitiveness in the global aviation industry. This doesn't mean that it is incapable of becoming a major competitor in the industry. It simply means that they have to go through a challenging process and learn a lot more before they can officially become a true rival to the powerful giants. Only time will tell whether they can overcome these challenges and become a significant player in the aviation industry. Furthermore, the lack of confidence in the C919 and China's emerging aviation market is a significant challenge. Global airlines are often hesitant to invest in new aircraft from manufacturers without a long-standing reputation. To build trust, a new aircraft must demonstrate reliability, safety, and performance through many years of successful operation. The C919, despite being developed with advanced technology and strong support from the Chinese government, still faces skepticism from international airlines. This stems from COMAC's lack of long-term experience in commercial aircraft manufacturing and concerns about reliance on foreign technology, as well as the safety certification process. Moreover, in the highly competitive international aviation market, airlines tend to opt for proven products like Boeing and Airbus as they have been tested over multiple generations and have robust global support networks. Therefore, Building trust with international customers is a lengthy process that requires substantial effort. Finally, the after-sales service and support network for the aircraft are not as extensive or developed as those of Airbus or Boeing. While these giants have established a strong global service network over the years, China manufacturer's support for the aircraft is still limited and mainly focused on China. This lack of a robust global support system could deter international airlines from purchasing it as they typically prefer manufacturers with proven worldwide service networks. To compete effectively, COMAC must expand and improve its support services to build trust and meet global customer needs. The impact of this is significant for both China and the global aviation industry. A major hurdle for the C919 in entering the international market is obtaining certification from global aviation authorities. While this aircraft has been certified by Chinese aviation authorities, it needs approval from international bodies like the FAA and EASA to operate globally. This process can be lengthy and requires it to meet the highest safety and technical standards. Securing these certifications is crucial for it to fly international routes and build trust with global airlines and customers. Without them, 
the aircraft will struggle to expand its market and compete with Airbus and Boeing. The politic is also a reason. There's a much bigger reason why Comac can't sell outside of China, politics. This is entirely owned by the Chinese government. Can you imagine if an airline like American or Delta ordered this aircraft? Politicians would target those airlines for supporting China and not buying American or European. The U.S. government has imposed restrictions and tariffs on many types of Chinese products. Adding airplanes to that list and scoring political points isn't far-fetched. It doesn't matter if the C919 is good or bad. The fact that it is made by a government-owned Chinese company makes it toxic. An important factor, Airbus started much later than Boeing and once stated they wanted to accumulate experience. But a turning point came when they began applying their program from testing to operations. Now, Airbus is a direct competitor to Boeing. Similarly, Comac's C919 programs will take 20 to 30 years to complete, like Airbus or Boeing, but that indicates that the aerospace industry will welcome a new competitor in the future after several years. Therefore, Comac's efforts to establish this aircraft manufacturer as a major third competitor are only a matter of time. 